A family in Grand Rapids is in mourning after they say their daughter and her five children died in a crash this weekend in Arizona. Fox 17's Marisa Oberly live in the newsroom after speaking with their loved ones. Marisa? Janice, that incident put another mother who family says is also from the area and her four children in the hospital, bringing the number of people involved to 11, but impacting many more. The grief is just starting. I missed them already, man. For Natisha Moffitt's family. Call Natisha phone. I'm calling JoJo phone, Satari phone, Giovanni phone, praying that one of them will answer. Loved one saying the Grand Rapids native. An angel, a flower, just beautiful. It's a beautiful person. And her five children, Josiah, Giovanni, Santari, Malik, and Michaela, all died after a crash nearly 2,000 miles away, about an hour west of Phoenix. Unconditional love. No matter what you go through in life, no matter what, family's always the first. The investigation into what happened is still ongoing, but the Arizona Department of Public Safety says shortly after 1 p.m. Friday, a tractor trailer rear ended a car, which family identified as Natisha's, and split it in half. According to police, the truck then continued on and hit an SUV, injuring a second woman and her four children. Family identified that driver as Natisha's best friend, who also grew up in West Michigan, and convinced her to move to Arizona in recent years to practice cosmetology. Her and her friend took all their kids to San Diego mm -hmm. to for the fireworks. Celebrate the Fourth of July and for it to end like that is something out of a movie. The children, ages 5 to 17, described as smart, charismatic, loving, and more. One a recent pre-kindergarten graduate, another starting his first job. I got to bring my babies back, six of them. I got to bring them home. Oh, they need to be home. The family now trying to focus their sorrows on bringing everyone home. Love your family, love your kids, love your spouses while they're here because they all were too young to go. And to help in those efforts to bury Natisha and her children in Grand Rapids, the family has set up a GoFundMe page. If you would like to donate, you can visit fox17online.com. Now, police do say the driver of the tractor trailer is not injured, and as of right now, no charges have been filed. Reporting live in the newsroom, Marisa Oberly, Fox 17 News. Certainly.